What questions should I ask about the results of my breast biopsy? Here's some important thoughts. You're now on your way to get the results of your breast biopsy. This could have been a needle biopsy, as I have strongly suggested, or it could have been an open surgical biopsy. But the bottom line is you're now going to get the results of the biopsy, and here's a list and some concepts of important questions you should be asking. Of course, number one on your mind is, is the biopsy cancer or not? And if it is, that takes us down one pathway. But let's assume for a second that your biopsy results are benign, not cancer. What questions should you be asking? Well, if you had the excisional biopsy done because of a benign fibroadenoma, you want to make sure that it, in fact, was totally benign and there's nothing to be worried about. But on the other hand, if there would be benign results that came in show things like a typical ductal hyperplasia or a typical lobular hyperplasia, these are important subjects that will be covered later here at Breast Cancer Answers because the finding of a typical ductal hyperplasia may increase your risk of subsequent breast cancer. And you want to know if you've had a benign result, what additional imaging studies should be done in the future, are you at any kind of increased risk for breast cancer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now let's assume for a second that in fact the results show that you have a breast cancer. This is the beginning of your journey about your breast cancer. And you want to gather as much information as you can at the beginning of that journey. You should always have the results of your mammograms and your ultrasound examination in your personal files. You want to know if your cancer is in situ, meaning that it's confined inside the ducts of the breast, or whether it's invasive and gone through the walls of the ducts of the breast. You want to know about your markers, your estrogen receptor marker, your progesterone receptor marker, and your HER2 nu. These markers are very important in determining therapies down the road, and it's important that you have these as part of your overall records. You want to know if the um, surgeon or people that you're being referred to are part of a multidisciplinary team where your case is going to be presented at a conference and multiple specialists are going to discuss what is the best approach for your case. Uh, you also want to know if you're going to need additional testing. Those additional tests could include, as an example, a breast MRI examination. Usually when you're just finding out the results of your breast biopsy, it's too early Often it's too early to be discussing whether you're going to be needing chemotherapy or what other aspects there's going to be of your treatment. You should not go running off to an operating room right away uh, until your case has been, been presented to a multidisciplinary team. It's also important to remember that time is your friend, that breast cancer is a galaxy of diseases and what you ultimately want if you've got breast cancer is for a very personalized treatment program to be designed for your individual case. These are the things that are important. Keep track of the things that I've mentioned today. Be empowered. Did you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? In fact, today, there's a way to identify whether or not you'd benefit from that chemotherapy based on the biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX assay and how to discuss the results with your physician, just press this button.